Gemini's, welcome to your heart spread reading. This is for the end of November time frame, we'll call it. This reads the one that's uh, on your mind and in your heart. And uh, it's eight card read, roughly ends up in the shape of a heart. Um, looks at you and your person, gets advice from spirit, and then uh, advice for the outcome and an outcome for the relationship, you know, if there is any. This is the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck I'm using today. If anybody gives a darn, I have a pre-shuffle. Um, so here, look at you and then your person. This is sort of your first house, seventh house. I think of astrology too. You know, and always with tarot, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, you know, this is Gemini energy. I have a tenth house, Gemini. Um, a lot of energy in my third house, which is Scorpio, though. Gemini, you always have it in your third house, and you, then you have somewhere where Gemini's express, right? Even if you're not a son, Gemini. So let's see what we have here. This is you. Now this shows where you're at in and around relationships, where your mind is at and where your heart is at. And wow, you know, this is someone who's in love. It's Here it's funny when I see two of cups, you know, and I get the feeling here like this. Um, it, I want to usually separate this into kind of your energies, and I know like you, sure, I know where I'm at, but I want to see if we resonate, so I'm going to say, well, this is where you're at, you know, and try to separate a little bit from the relationship energy, but it's like, it's like just bleeding all into the relationship, it's like whoever you're with, you're like really in love, and you, uh, by already given your cup, um, your cup runneth over, uh, and so your energy and your energy in the relationship is kind of bleeding into here. Now let's look at where they're at in terms of uh, love and relationship. Again, trying to look at them on their own, a little bit independent, uh, get a baseline of where they're at, you know, not exactly in the relationship area, but just how they are. So this kind of is an earth sign uh, person. Uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo person, um, you know, with, with the Eight of Pentacles, it's such a positive energy, it's the good workers card, and um, it's uh, very personal, doing very good work, very well could be a Capricorn, most likely, uh, but it's the energy of someone that's uh, in a love relationship, too, it can be someone that's done the work, done the healing work, done the inner work. Um, done, paid their respects to Saturn, taking care of what had to be taken care of in life, you know. Um, and this is the person that you're in this two of cup energy with. Now let's see how you're feeling towards them. Page of cups. So you're a little coy, huh? Maybe you haven't told them you love them yet. Um, you know, the, the thing is this page, which is kind of perfect here, I think, really, often see this as a new relationship but how appropriate you know you don't want to jump in a new relationship and say marry me um, a page of cups could be hey I'd really like to get to know you better and take you out um, hey you know I'm interested in you um, you know as a woman's interested in a man or a man's interested in a woman I'm interested in you or a man's interested in a man or whatever, whatever. <laughs> The page, you know, it's a message could be making it a clear or something from the heart. You got this two of cups. It's pretty straightforward. <laughs> you know, that's exactly what we do. You got the two of cups. And you're like, oh my God, I think I'm in love. Hey, I think I'm in love. But it's like you haven't quite. You're like, ah, you know, nah, they could be a workaholic. You know, we got the moon on the bottom of the deck. I do count that now in these reads, uh, kind of lightly, but it's kind of now the moon always gets me going. So. Mm, because that's what keeps me up at night is what I don't know and you know how you don't know what you don't know yeah now see this is great in this page a wand is uh, looking at you seems to be ready to move um, so you pique their attention here and that of course is fire sign energy now say they are Capricorn very well could have a Sagittarius Mars Sagittarius Venus Sagittarius Mercury any of those possibility even just a Sag Venus, you know. Um, so it's funny that it's both a young energy. So either you guys are young, you know, this, I feel the feeling this is a young person. And I wanted to say your person, a Gemini, is probably younger than you. But then I was thinking, I don't know, maybe you're younger. 
Um, and so you both might be like in your 20s, you know, this type of thing. Um, that would put this person, that's the kind of thing, they could even be in, in graduate school or, or something, you know. This is the energy eight of uh, pentacles. They're very busy, engaged with building their life, creating a life, working, structure. Um, so in a way it's good. It's like this doesn't look like you met at a dating site, you know. And page, page to page is wonderful. You know, you're banging this water energy. Maybe you got some cancer going on there, uh, Gemini's. Uh, you're a little shy somehow about this person. And they're coming on to you with the fire energy. But this card, too, is a little wistful. This deck, a lot of them are like that. So maybe they're kind of like, you kind of, maybe there's like some flirting going on or something. And you're like, you know, well, I kind of like it. And you, you're like, come here, you're like, go away. And, and something kind of coy, it just seems young. Uh, energy to me and but you've got like their attention they're fired up you know they're like at the same time they're not really doing anything about it justice this is your advice from spirit in dealing with this person Gemini you know usually when I see advice from spirit excuse me as justice I can see that as like karma you know coming in now karma you know, it doesn't have to be bad. It could be karma coming in and bringing you something you need to bounce you out that you would consider very positive. Or another way to say that, something good coming in with karma. Like there's karma's transits to outer plants usually in, in our natal charts, you see it. And, um, you know, sometimes it's good. You've got the Saturn trine uh, Pluto and that sextile Venus and, you know, boom, uh, something amazing happens. Could be... Something like that, even that's like where the money comes in all of a sudden, and there it is. Um, but that that could be represented by justice. This is the major arcana. These are things that are outside your control. And let me say this, like, because this gets a little subtle. So you're coming in with two of cups energy, and it's like, for me, it's like you're really opening yourself, opening yourself, which is good. I love it. I do the same thing. Um, um, but with justice, just be careful because now I feel like this energy is pulling in this karmic relationship. Not to be melodramatic. Again, doesn't mean it's a bad thing because it's this karmic relationship. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be you're going to be soulmates and live together forever. But I think, you know, with this justice card, the spirit wants you to know um, your love, you're opening your heart to this particular person is part of a soul contract a soul mate forming relationship that is and you know but that's commonly how it works anyway and this person is re uh, responding to you too um sexually and not just sexually like with a lot of interest and i got the feeling like this is just be a little cliche but they're probably the kind of person here jim and i usually puts their energy into their work right and now you come along and they're just like, oh my God, you know, there's something else in the world that interests them more uh, than really their work. And it's you. Remember, there's something we're not seeing in the overall energy here. I think it's like something maybe you're both not seeing. Hmm. That's what the moon often can represent. Just something in the shadows you don't quite see. Now the hair font, this is the advice to your person. I'm getting this very strongly, like very strongly. It's as if if he tells, it's going to be someone he tells about you. Uh, I shouldn't really say he, he or she, this person, Jim and I, might be a woman, might be a man. Um, when they tell uh, someone about you, that's an elder, a uh, grandparent I'm getting significant in their life they believe has a lot of wisdom um, they're going to listen and they're going to tell this person marry that marry that Gemini you know, if I won't say marry that Gemini whoever you are at least marry him marry her that's the advice you're going to get and this comes from spirit guys so really um, the advice I said this is a this is a soulmate connection so the advice uh, for both of you because this also the hair pump side being marriage is the highest spiritual like reality uh, connection here the ones the hair fence the one that's a really uh, connects with spirit 
and um, it's kind of advising your person also that there's this soulmate spirit connection here involved and you guys seem really simpatico like I don't see no twin flame I'm gonna call it bullshit you know just soulmates and you 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 got business together uh, and you're it's you're very equal here you're very equal you you're a little coy uh, Jim and I run away they're they're if they're not already pursuing you they're well they're in the act of pursuing you and it's funny games a little bit funny games but underneath of it all just underneath it's it's just not it's not bad it's just you know um, life now this is advice for the relationship as a whole I think this is like um, all kinds of important um, um, and this is taking actions and doing doing things that's going to require actions that is about uh, doing what's right for you and really here this is about the relationship as a whole so it's assuming that there's a relationship and it's about you guys taking actions that are for the benefit of the relationship because this is defending the castle this is righteous this is the important part righteous defense of the castle so you know this could be I don't know from somewhere comes maybe this Harafant speaks to a marriage involved somewhere um, but you know comes uh, some kind of a resistance and uh, you're standing there in you know righteous indignation righteously defending um, the castle in this case the castle is a marriage guys if not a marriage it's a long-term committed um, relationship here it's taking actions in your own best interest and I think to get the ace of swords I'm not gonna do the reversals in the heart spread guys um, sometimes with clarifiers, I will. So, Ace of Swords um, as an outcome, you know, it's not the sexiest outcome in the in the world. Uh, but when you consider uh, you're a Gemini, I mean, this is air. So I have a sense with this, and you got this young energy. Your two pages here, you're wrapping it up with the Ace of Swords, and it's over this uh, Seven of Wands. So you guys take action. And you maybe start to realize, if not, maybe now realize as the heart spreads, takes form here, um, you know, that there's, there, this, this is a divine union. Essentially, it's a contract. And um, you should uh, well defend it in righteous defense. You know, if anything is to assault, you know, this relationship as a whole. And with the Ace of Swords relationship, it's new. Uh, you're both, it's like a clean slate. You're both starting with a very clean slate. It's completely honest. Honest to God, i got to be real how it feels to me you're both virgins. It's like two virgins starting. Now, maybe literally you're not virgins. But maybe it's been a while and you feel like a virgin. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, it's just kind of energy about the both of you. Um, just starting, just cutting everything down right to the bare bones and a clean slate clean page starting all over here um, and it's really light you know see this card see the light around the sword I like it it's like you guys are kind of powerful together you know you sort of maybe discover some kind of power that you have together and this will be in the way you communicate the way the world sees you and stuff you know so maybe what this moon was representing was that you didn't really count on the fact that there would be these need for de self-defense of the relationship from some quarter. It's not all that unusual, you know. So thank you guys. I hope you like that. I hope you get something out of it. Let me know. Leave a comment. That helps a lot. If you want to help the channel, like too and subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell. Thank you guys.